morning, friends, and happy Friday. <sighs> we are in for a very, very cold weekend. Tomorrow is supposed to be super, super cold, but then it's supposed to just kind of warm back up again to so like all 50s and 60s next week, but tomorrow is gonna be like super, super cold. Like we're supposed to wake up and it's supposed to be like in the single digits tomorrow. So I had told Brian, um, he wanted to go get a new phone. So I told, he said, oh, we'll just go tomorrow. And I'm like, look, I'm gonna be like dressed today. I don't wanna have to get dressed tomorrow. I don't wanna have to do anything tomorrow. I don't wanna go out tomorrow. I don't wanna do anything. So I think we're gonna go do all of that this evening. So we're gonna go get him a new phone this evening. And then we are going to go um, get dinner. Boy, that's really dusty in there. I'm gonna have to wipe that out, yuck. I'm looking at my window and that's like the little windowsill where you pull up the window and stuff. It's like so dusty in there, good grief. Um, so anyway, yeah, we're gonna go get him a new phone tonight and go to get pizza. And then we are going to, um, we have to stop back, back at Lowe's cause he's looking for some certain type of tape. Oh, you're flashing up there. Give me a second, I gotta go change the battery. <laughs> Okay, so today I actually wasn't sure if I was going to vlog or not, but I decided to vlog, and then this will be up on Monday. So um, I wanted to give you guys a little update on my parents. Um, my mom, she said she was starting to feel a little bit better yesterday, which was great. Um, they did. She's going to start her um, meds that they gave her for this today because it's like a cycle thing and she has to start it like today. Um, so she's gonna start that today. So hopefully after starting to take that and starts hitting her system, she'll start feeling a little bit better. My dad yesterday said he thought he was feverish. So he had my mom like take his temperature and um, uh, he didn't have a temperature. So that was good. But um, my dad still hasn't got tested yet. So, and he probably won't. He just doesn't feel like it's necessary. Um, and my brother is still obviously sick and he's quarantining and we don't know yet um, if Kristen has it or if the babies have it because um, their tests they did yesterday won't come back for 24 to 48 hours so um, so we're just kind of like every day um, just checking in on my mom I just texted her a few minutes ago and there she is now hold on alrighty so she said that she told my dad and my sister this morning that her back is still hurting again um, but just a little bit not as bad as it was the other day because she said she felt she was hurting so bad she felt like she got run over by a car um, and she said she still feels bad but she still feels a little bit better if that makes any sense but totally makes sense um, and she's getting ready to call the pharmacy because she's a little scared to take the uh, viral meds that they gave her so they gave her that um, what'd she call it Prava, Provaloid or something like that. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, it's the new stuff that um, Pfizer came out with. So she was a little nervous to take it because they said that it could cause her to throw up. <laughs> She's like, I just don't want to throw up. I'm already sick as it is. Why would this make me throw up? So she said she's going to call the pharmacy and talk to them a little bit about it. So maybe she'll she'll do that and maybe she'll make up her mind. But um, other than that, that's about it on, on that home front. Um, today, though, I thought because I... Um, was going to share with you guys just a little bit of cleaning with me around the house a little bit Obviously, I'm gonna be making up the bed. I'm gonna be cleaning up the kitchen um, And I'm also gonna be going through those other two totes that I still had left in my closet full of all of those um, Like bags that I like purses or bags or whatever that I I have in there so I'm gonna go through all of those and really try to like narrow them down to what I really want to keep and what I don't want to keep because I really don't use any of those in there. So I'm going to go through those today and um, try to minimize as many of those as I possibly can. Clear those totes out. And there was one more, oh, and laundry. So that's what I was going to try to do today. Um, and then of course we'll get ready later on um, but I am going to change um, clothes. Well, maybe I won't because I, I just have um, this little pink shirt on with my jogging pants that are feeling so comfortable right now. So I think I'm just gonna wait it out and I don't think I'm gonna put any clothes on right now. Well, I'm gonna put clothes on. I have clothes on. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. All right, so I think I'm just gonna get busy and start to run here and get some stuff done. 
yeah and then we'll just go from there and see how the day goes so hang out with me today while i do some cleaning and a little more decluttering and uh yeah i'm excited i'm excited to share this with you guys so um stick around and i'll see you guys in a bit I wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now I wanna push all the limits with you right now So watch your feelings, the city screaming when I'm coming home tonight We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now People talk and tell what you wanna hear now But they all disappear, they will let you down so we better stick together, let's come whatever We're not coming home tonight We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now I'm getting my like daily dose of oxygen on which is like true crime stories <laughs> like I was addicted to this before I left for Disney and I just love watching this it's, it's like on 24 7 and it just gives you like all kinds of um, true crime stories it's so good um, but anyway so now I'm gonna clean the kitchen but I really wanted to quickly tell you I was on the phone with my mom just a second ago and um, she said she's not exactly sure she wants to take that it's packed Paxlovid, Paxlovid. And I think it's the new um, medicine that Pfizer came out with for COVID. But anyway, she said she's not exactly sure if she wants to take it because um, of her AFib. So, um, cause my mom could go, um, has AFib. So she's a little scared. So she's gonna call her heart doctor just to make sure. And we know like most doctors shouldn't prescribe something if they already know that you're on this medication, but my mom didn't see like her doctor. She saw another doctor that was there. So, and even though they're supposed to look at your chart, um, so she's just gonna go check just to make sure. So she sounds really good though. She sounds really good today, which I'm happy about. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean up the kitchen and I just put the juice away. I had the most delicious bagel this morning. I'll put a picture of it in here. I had um, like a gluten-free bagel with avocado, cream cheese, and tomatoes on top of it. It was so darn good. And the avocados, or excuse me, the um, bagels that I get are the ones from uh, Trader Joe's. And they're super, super good. And I put a little bit of the um, everything but the bagel seasoning on it. Delicious. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up and put this stuff away. And uh, yeah, we're gonna clean the kitchen now. So that's what I'm gonna do now. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming Every day we danced and life was smiling We were young and drunk in love A few years later I have started thinking If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you you. There's no reason to Chasing pavement on my own Cause you're here to stay Every night and day I'm delighted cause I got you I have always been afraid of changes But you show me life is full of faces Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places But we were young and unaware Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing payment on my own Cause you're here to stay every night and day I'm delighted cause I got you
storage boxes that I ordered right before I left and then they came in and I didn't do anything because I left um, but these are actually too small as you can see it's just one of these and they're like super small so like the size of my hand that's how deep they are and that's ridiculous and it's probably about the length yeah it's like the length of my arm so these are too these are obviously way too small for blankets so I'm gonna have to go on there and see if I can find other ones to order for the blankets but what I did do is I was able to go through um, all of our like scarves and gloves and stuff that we have I obviously have more than Brian he just has one which is right here and I took up all three of these spaces um, of you know hats gloves um, and scarves so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go put these in the hall closet that is up by the front door and now we'll know you know where they're at and what we can see because before I just had kind of had them in a, a green one and um, obviously we don't need to use them all the time but right now because it's super cold outside you know we could use a scarf or something or gloves if we're going out um, but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the closet and then see if I can find the large ones to order for blankets because these ones are not gonna cut it
little bit of change of plans. Um, we decided that we are not going to go out for pizza tonight or to get his phone tonight. We're going to wait until Sunday when it's 55 degrees outside and a little bit warmer because right now it is like super cold. So we ordered pizza for delivery and it should be here about four o'clock, which is perfect timing um, because that's when Brian is done getting uh, done with work. And that's when we like to go upstairs and snuggle up in our warm blankets and eat dinner and start watching TV on Friday night. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm actually gonna jump in the shower really quick. I'm not gonna wash my hair today. I'm just gonna take a really quick shower and just kind of like wash off the day. So that's what I plan on doing right now. And then, um, yeah, that's gonna be it. A little update too on my mom. Um, her doctor, oh no, the pharmacist said that they, who no, was it the doctor? The doctor said that they wouldn't recommend that drug to anybody. So, and not the doctor that prescribed it. This was a different doctor that she had called her regular, like heart doctor. And he said that he wouldn't prescribe that for anybody. So my mom's not gonna take that, but she's actually feeling so good right now. She like feels good, which I'm so thankful for. And then my dad finally decided that he was gonna go to urgent care and get checked out. Um, so they checked him for the flu, they checked him for uh, strep and they did a COVID test. The flu and the strep test came back negative and he's just waiting for the results for the COVID test. So we're not sure um, if that, he, they said it'll probably come in tomorrow, the COVID test. And we still haven't heard from Kristen yet to see if they have it. Um, as of today, she hadn't heard anything. So, um, but anyway, more than likely if my mom has it, my dad has it, right? Not how that works, but I've heard before where one spouse has it and the other one doesn't. So, um, and they live in the same house and breathe the same air and sleep in the same bed and everything. So, I don't know, hopefully, hopefully he'll be okay and he's just sick, you know? Um, which I don't want him to be sick either. But uh, anyway, nonetheless, so today was a good day. It was a productive day. I got a few things done that I wanted to get done, which is great. I did place an order for larger blanket totes and I actually made sure that it said for blankets. One of them actually said big enough for quilts and then another one said big enough for like three blankets. So I ordered those. So those should be in on Sunday, which means it's a great thing because the next week I can get started on trying to get it, all of the blankets and stuff organized and put in those totes. I can go work in that guest closet where all those blankets are at and all those pictures are at and I can go through all of that stuff and get that stuff done and organized. Perfect. And then, um, yeah, so that'll be my uh, goal and stuff for next week is to get a lot of that stuff done. So yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, decluttering and cleaning again next week. So I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, I know this video won't be going up until Monday, but uh, I hope that you guys have a great weekend anyway. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.